Okay, so if you're a business owner and you are um, looking to grow your business exponentially, really quickly, I cannot see past right now social media marketing and deeper than that, paid for social media marketing. I have been involved in um, marketing broadly and internet marketing specifically for the past um, 12 years. I almost said 10, but then I remembered my age, so let's call it the square 12. Um, and I have seen the cycle, you know, I've seen uh, the origination of websites. Um, I've seen uh, Google Ads get some traction, so Google Organic going on to Google Ads. I saw the rise of social media um, where organic works spectacularly well. There's probably a lot of people latching on to the likes of Facebook ads and Instagram ads, um, be they influencers or local businesses, but most of them aren't doing it to my mind correctly, there's quite a lot of spammy, buy from me type advertising, and I'd read somewhere, marketeers ruin everything. And as much as they will take a, a platform and then you know, something that provides good um, user content, uh, that provides good utility, they'll jump on and ruin it because they'll start spamming marketing messages to it. So for the most part, you know, we don't respond to salesy type messages. It just looks like what it is kind of spammy, in your face, buy from me. Um, you know, it's a social media platform. If someone came into your life to a party and said, hi, I'm Barry, I run a marketing company. Would you like to uh, do business with us? We'll give you the best result possible. We're the best marketing company. Don't use any other marketing company. Give me your money and I'll look after you. And that was my opener. And I, I'm fairly socially retarded in, in the sort of uh, uh, social situations and networking situations, but I've got enough grace about me to know that you don't just walk up to someone and uh, within 30 seconds of an intro, um, start trying to arm twist them into to doing business with you. Um, so you try and act like a normal, decent human being and you tell them a bit about what you do and who are they and do they have any family and do they live locally and all the rest of it. It's a social gathering. You're not there necessarily to do um, business. And social media works in a similar way. Um, so a lot of the stuff that we put out, it's a bit like this, it's just sharing content and experience and you know, our wins, of which we have many, and our losses as well, which we're not um, perhaps as vocal about, but it happens and you should share them as well because there's lessons to be drawn from them. Um, and just telling people a bit about your life and your experience and what you do and how that might benefit them if they overlaid it into their um, business. Um, now, at some point, I think it's okay to say, um, you know, we're taking on new clients or we're doing X, Y, and Z, or if you're in a certain industry, it'd be worth talking to us because we've developed something that would work in there. How do you interact with social media? How do you act when you see an advert? Do you immediately jump on and think, thank God, I thought that advert would never appear? Or does it kind of pee you off a bit and you just keep scrolling? You know, other human beings will act the same way that you do. So if you're putting out um, content or if, even if you're putting out paid traffic, um, try and make that content interesting and engaging and beneficial to the user or the person looking at it, not directly beneficial to you as we do this, we're the biggest, we're the best, buy from us. Um, try and put out some interesting content, it could be text, it could be imagery, or it could be video. Um, and I think you know, in the coming years, you'll see a real big uptick in um, video engagement. Uh, again, if you have any questions, any queries about this stuff, um, I could talk about it in an empty room, which is where I am right now. Um, so uh, do get in touch and uh, I'll share uh, best practice with you. Bye for now.